In this video, I'm going to show you how I do oxygen free beer transfers from my regular gravity fermenters into my serving kegs. To do this, you're going to need a few basic parts, which you should be able to find at your local homebrew store. But if you can't get them locally, you can always find most of these things online. The first thing we're going to need is some silicon tubing. Now I've got a short length of 10 mil internal diameter silicon hose. Now I prefer to use silicon when it comes to transferring beer in my brewery. I don't like using vinyl and if you've ever stuck your nose in the end of a vinyl tube you'll know why. They just smell plasticky and that is going to get into your beer if you use nylon hose so stick to silicon. With the silicon tubing you're going to need to connect it to both ends. At one end you're going to need to connect your silicon tubing to your tap on your fermenter. To do that we have a small piece of solid plastic piping. Now that plastic piping you should be able to get easily at a homebrew store but if you cannot get it it's exactly the same pipe that they use to do bottle fillers. So if you've got a bottle filler in your kit you could always cut a 20 to 30 millimeter length off the top that's about one inch and insert that inside your tap and slide the silicon tube over the top of that. That's going to give you a nice snug fit at the tap end. At the keg end we're going to need a liquid MFL disconnect. Now the MFL disconnects have a threaded end as opposed to a barbed end for the tubing. You want the threaded end because the threaded end is actually about 10 millimeters in diameter and that's going to fit nice and snug at the other end of your silicon hose and all you're going to need then is a hose clamp just to tighten it up to make sure you get no leaks. This way you're going to have a completely sealed line between the tap on your bucket and the liquid line on your keg or the liquid outline. So you want the beer flowing from your bucket fermenter down through the silicon hose and into the liquid outline so it flows to the bottom of your keg. The other thing you're going to need is a carbonation cap and a short length of gas hose. The carbonation cap will connect to a gas line in your brewery so you can put CO2 into the top of your fermenter. Now the gas line on the carbonation cap will go into the bung hole on your fermenter where your airlock is. So you'll pull your airlock out and insert the gas line through the bung hole in, gently into the top of your fermenter. That should fit fairly snugly and not allow any air to get into the top of your fermenter. Once you start the transfer, you want to release a small amount of CO2 continuously into the top of your, your fermenter. Not too much though, you don't want to blast the top of your beer. You just want a nice gentle layer of CO2 coming down and settling on top of the beer for the entire duration of the transfer. With your serving keg being sanitized and now full of CO2 ready to fill, you want to first connect the silicon hose to the tap on your fermenter first. And you want to connect it just loosely. Then you're going to connect the MFL disconnect to the liquid outpost on your keg. Once it connects on, the CO2 is going to come out of the liquid outline. It's going to go through the silicon hose and it's going to purge that silicon hose. So you don't want that to be tightly connected to your tap just yet. You want it to be nice and loose so the CO2 can escape through that line completely and completely drain the keg. This way you're going to purge that line of CO2 so there's going to be no air anywhere in the system. Once the CO2 in the tank drains out completely, you're going to push that line in even harder into the tap so it's nice and secure. Turn your tap on, open your pressure release valve on your keg and let the beer run in. And that's it. That's all it takes to do an oxygen free transfer from a regular fermenter into a keg. Now you can sit back, relax for about 20 minutes and watch your keg slowly fill up. 